Residential Sales Comparison and Income Approaches, page 154. Net Lease. In a net lease scenario, the lessee is paying some or all of the expenses that are typically paid by the lessor, such as in a gross lease. The term net lease is applied broadly. And to truly understand a particular lease's terms, a net lease is usually specified further into one of the following four categories. Again, there could be variations. One, single net. Lessor pays for maintenance and building repairs and real estate taxes or insurance. Less E pays for either real estate taxes or insurance. Two, double net, sometimes referred to as a net slash net. The lessor pays for maintenance and building repairs. The lessee pays for both real estate taxes and insurance. Three, triple net, sometimes referred to as a net net net. Lessor pays for building repairs. The lessee pays for the real estate taxes, insurance, and maintenance. And number four, absolute net. The lessee pays for real estate taxes, insurance, maintenance, and building repairs. Unless there are specific provisions or market customs otherwise, the lessee pays for utilities in all net lease scenarios. Net leases are not as common in most residential lease arrangements, but occasionally could be found However, net lease scenarios are found frequently with many types of non-residential properties. Examination of lease documents provides clues as to the type of lease arrangement that is in place between the parties. The lease may or may not label the arrangement specifically as one of these classifications. Flat lease. A flat lease is an arrangement where the rent payments to the lessor are consistent throughout the duration of the lease term. This is the most common type of lease in short-term residential situations, especially gross lease scenarios, but could be found in net lease scenarios as well. The flat lease may also be referred to as a level lease or a level payment lease. For example, if the rent in a lease for a one-year period is specified as $750 a month, the rent would never change and would remain $750 a month for the entire year. Variable leases. A variable lease is a lease with rental payments made at regular intervals, but payment amounts may change. This is sometimes, page 155, known as an index lease. The longer the lease term, the more likely it is to have some sort of adjustment mechanism written into it, especially net leases. Common mechanisms that trigger a change in lease rate or rent could be the consumer price index or simply variations in the owner's expenses in net lease scenarios. For example, if the rent in a lease for a one-year period is specified as $750 per month, the rent could change at a specified frequency by some predetermined variable related to an index or other indicator and the rent may be adjusted higher or lower than $750 a month. Step up leases. A step up or a step down lease provides for the rent amount change over time, usually a predetermined percentage at a predetermined interval. An interval can be specified but annual increases are the most common. A step-down lease is far less common. 
This type of lease may also be referred to as a graduated rental lease. On occasion, the appraiser might encounter a residential property that is the subject of such a lease scenario. However, these are usually leases of longer terms. For example, the provisions of a lease specify that the rent for the first year will be $750 a month, or it could be an annual rent amount with annual increases of 10%. Thus, the second year rent would be $825 per month. The third year could be $907.50 per month, and so on. Revaluation leases. A revaluation lease has rental payments that change over time at a set interval, but the amount of the change is determined usually by a revaluation of the market rent allowing the owner to maintain rents at market rates based on the current market. This type of lease is very rarely, if ever, seen with residential properties. Most revaluation leases are found in long-term scenarios or short-term leases where there are renewal options. For example, a lease stipulates that the rent for an office area might be $25 per square foot per year with a revaluation of the lease rate based on a revaluation of the market rents biannually. The lessee will have the property rental rates revaluated and the current rental rate will be adjusted to reflect the current market. Annual increase leases. The annual increase lease operates very similarly to a step-up lease with one major exception. Rather than a percentage increase, the periodic increase specified in the lease is a specific dollar amount. This type of lease could be found with any type of property. Uh, just an extra tip, when we did the class, the only part that was highlighted was net lease, which was kind of what they wanted to hammer in your mind. Just remember, in a net lease scenario, the less E is paying some or all of the expenses that are typically paid by the lessor, such as in a gross lease.